Kick it. Hi, my name is Ed Griswold. I'm with Streambreeze. I want to thank you for coming by today and checking out our systems. We have three basic models of the Streambreeze. Uh, the first one is the Streambreeze Flex, as you see in front of you right now. We also have the Streambreeze Pro and the Streambreeze Broadcast. The biggest difference between the systems is mainly their inputs and the type of inputs. Uh, the Flex is an analog system with four analog inputs, which means composite, S-video component. It also has four digital inputs uh, as HDMI. So if you have a, di a digital high-def camera, you can come in through an HDMI port. Uh, the Streambreeze Pro is four SDI inputs, and the Streambreeze Broadcast is eight SD, SDI inputs. And all of the Streambreeze systems are HD, but they also will do, uh, work in an SD format as well, and they will also work in a multi-definition format. And what I mean by that is they will work in both SD and HD. You can either up or down convert depending on what mode you've selected. So let's uh, take a look at the Streambreeze interface. And the, the interface looks like so. Now I'm going to just go through basically some of the modules that are available and uh, as cap capabilities that are available with the Streambreeze. Uh, the first and foremost of being, of course, is the, uh, is the, the uh, camera inputs. Like I said, you can have up to four inputs and you can switch between them. Uh, we have a saying, basically, if you can click a mouse, you can operate a stream breeze because it literally is that simple. It's a matter of just clicking, clicking the mouse and it'll, and it'll switch. Uh, as you can see here in the middle, you have several different types of switching modes. You can switch on the preview panel here and or you can use these little shortcuts here so I can, I can cut back and forth. I can do fades. Uh, there I have to wipe or fly. If I zoom, and this FTB, what that is, that's fade to black. That is for the output, whether you're streaming or going to a projector or in-house TV station, you can fade your output to black. That's what that's there for. Uh, there's also a little crossbar, crossbar down here. You can grab this, and you can manually switch between inputs. And then we have our multiple inputs down here. Now these modules are all different. And then of course we have the next module here. This is my lower third module. Uh, this allows me to do my lower thirds, bring up, bring up titles, names, that kind of thing, you know, other overlays. Uh, there are four overlay channels you can work within. Uh, you know, it's a simple click of the mouse, just like uh, any other operation of the Streambreeze. Um, you can bring in still images like, like so, uh, like the picture you see here of the Streambreeze system. Uh, even PowerPoints. If you own a copy of Microsoft Office, you can install that on the system, which will give you access to the PowerPoint engine so that you can load a PowerPoint system, a PowerPoint uh, slideshow in and simply, and, and you can run it. Now the way you, um, I'm not going to go into any too much detail as far as operating the, the PowerPoints, but mainly when, once you import your PowerPoints in, you simply right click and this little module here opens up and this allows you to control uh, the timing between slides, also the type of transition you want to occur and the duration of that, uh, that transition, how, how fast you want it to occur. Uh, you can manually uh, change them as well. So if you have this open, you can simply just click, and they will transition for you know transition fade for you. So you can, if you need to manually control them in a real time environment, that's available. Then we have our next module here, and this one is for bringing in stills. Uh, you can bring in you know JPEGs, uh, BIMPs, uh, PNG files, uh, those kind of things. And this allows you to, so any, any file that you bring in, you can uh, come in there. And then we have the next module, which allows you to bring in uh, as far as video content. Now, the one thing you do want to remember is that you're not limited to the number of 
mod types of modules. In other words, you, can, you can't just, you know, you can bring in more than one video or more than one picture and group them together. You, you know, you don't, you, you know, you can go beyond what you see here. Uh, for instance, the video, you know, the video. Now the video, what's a really great thing about the video is it will automatically play. So as soon as I switch to it and switch live to it in the program, it will automatically play for me. And if it has audio, the audio also will, will play. And speaking of the audio, we do have a built-in mixer, so you can have access to it and you can control them independently. So you can control your levels in real time. And the next module we had down the line is the DVD module. And the DVD module literally is that you can put a DVD uh, into the DVD player that comes on the system so that you can control. So if that, menu, if that DVD has menus, you can navigate to that menu and, and play it. So I'm going to stop this one. I'm going to throw that back up there. Actually, I'll throw the image. Here we go. And like I said, you have complete control over that DVD. You can scrub it. You can jump chapter points. It's just like a regular DVD player, which is a very, very cool option. Uh, and also, the next thing I want to mention is everybody always asks us about virtual sets. Yes, we have vir the virtual set technology. And I'll show that to you. I'll bring that up real quick. And so then I need, the next thing I need to do is I need to key myself out. Like I said, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail. I'm just I'm quickly going through this so you can see some of the uh, functionality of the StreamBreeze system. Uh, bring my little pop-up here. And I'll tell it to key. And then you'll see it, it'll auto, auto key for me. So here I am in my, my virtual set that you can see. So I'm sitting in the great hall of virtual sets here. And the next module I can cut to is, uh, and I'll bring up the audio module. So if you have an audio file, MP3 or a WAV, uh, you can control those independently and I can start them up. And where that works really well is if you are going to, for instance, uh, have, bring in a PowerPoint slide or an image slide and you want to loop it and play it, and just have that playing forever in the background, then you can bring in some, a list of MP3s or WAV files and just tell them to loop and they will automatically go through the loop for you and you can play them over and over and over uh, while you're, you know, while the PowerPoint is, is playing. And I can take that off. You stop that from playing. I know you couldn't hear it. Like I said, I didn't want to overdrive, I didn't want to, you know, cover my voice up, but it, I did want you to see that option. Another, another really cool option is not only are you able to operate the system uh, with the mouse, as far as clicks of, of the mouse, but you can also uh, customize keyboard shortcuts. And I've got a camera down here looking at my keyboard. I'm going to bring that up. I'll put it in the preview. And what I've done is I've tied the space bar on my keyboard. I have that tied uh, to the uh, lower third overlay here. So when I hit the space bar, the lower third pops up. I'm going to hit it again, and it goes down. And you can even combo your keyboard shortcut so when you hit a certain key, multiple things happen uh, at the same time. So some really powerful features. And yes, the, the one thing you want to keep in mind is the Stream Breeze, hence the name Stream Breeze, it, it will stream. Uh, we do have a built-in streaming engine here. Uh, if you simply type in the URL you're streaming to, whether it be live stream, you stream, you know, whatever uh, content delivery network you've got, you know, chosen, you can, they will give you the streaming address you need to stream to. Uh, and also beyond that, if you don't want to use that, uh, you can still use the Flash Media Encoder or Silverlight, any media encoder that is the, uh, installed in the system. And you can run multiple media encoders at the same time if you wish to stream to multiple places. Uh, you can also go through web portals. So if you want to log into your uh, content delivery network, if they have a web portal you need to log into, you can log into it and select uh, the stream breeze output and then stream through that that format. So there are a number of formats available to you A number of ways to stream. So basically um, You have uh, Four ways really to get content out into the world and the first foremost being the streaming be able to stream on any platform you want to 
Uh, the, the second one would be uh, you're able to, we have a projector out, so you can come off, you know, DVI or HDMI off the back of the system and go to a, a local projection. Or you can order an option card to let you to give you either analog or digital out. So if you're going to come out, either a composite, S-video component, or HDMI, or you can come out SDI. Those are some options that are available to you. And then we have the ability to record. You can also record to the hard drive. You can record either in a high def format, a standard def format. You can record MPEG, uh, AVI, or a WMV file. So depending on what platform you need your videos to go to, you can rec record in those different formats. It's just a matter of uh, your selection, your choice. Well, I want to thank you for coming by and taking a look at our video. Uh, thanks again, and uh, have a great day. Check it.